Welcome back to Space Tech Expo Europe in Bremen. So this time we are going to um, interview another company on uh, this time. Uh, we, are, we have uh, Mr. Doan Lee from Telepis. So we are going to know more about, uh, find out more about um, the, what, why Telepis um, has exhibited at this place and what's their goal afterwards, ETC. And so Mr. Doan Lee is the business uh, development manager and we are going to talk uh, about uh, their top company and products and more. Hello, nice to meet you. Thank you. Uh, could you introduce uh, your company and your com uh, what you're exhibiting at here today? So Telepix is a South Korean space startup. We design and manufacture optical payload. So the cameras, they go into the satellites. So that's our first satellite that's currently in space. It's in space and operating and taking images. It's a 6U satellite with a 4.8 meter GST and a swath of 20 kilometers. Mm. It has an MTF of a very high MTF of 11 to 12 percent. We also are currently developing a bigger payload. We, there's two versions of them, 0.5 meter GST and 0.75 meter GST. The 0.5 meter GST has a swath of 16 kilometers and the 0.75 meter GST has a swath of 24 kilometers. Because it's very wide swath and field of view, we, call it, we named it SWEAT. And because the payload and the cameras are nowadays generating too much data, we also have onboard processor, which mm. allows edge computing in space. So basically, satellite take images, and the, our onboard processor does the image processing in space, and only send down what's necessary and what is essential. Once the data are down from the satellite and is on the ground, we need to be able to process them. And currently, we have an AI LLM, so large language model platform, that allows users to easily access, download, search for, and, e and eventually to process them in natural languages. I see. So you, you have made um, the entire uh, satellite uh, system into a vertical uh, in integration by um, uh, strengthening the entire process from um, building a um, uh, satellite to um, developing their, your own software uh, compatible with these um, satellites you have, right? Correct. So when did you launch this um, satellite? That was launched last year in October, so it's ah. year and a half, now, year and one month now. And the Tetraplex has been in space for almost two years now. Mm. Wow, that's really a great achievement you already have. That's really amazing. So, so you have um, uh, decided to exhibit at this place to introduce about what are your what your products are and what your uh, services are. Correct. So Bremen Space Tech Expo has been consistently for the last five or six years mm -hmm. been the biggest European exhibition for space mm. and specifically for space. This is where a lot of uh, industry partners, suppliers, manufacturers, buyers, clients all meet up together to discuss potential business and therefore we are exhibiting here every year and we also plan to come here next year with a bigger booth. I see. So that's really great to hear that, um, that you I really think that your um, company is already having uh, much more visibility than um, uh, other um, exhibitors in this um, whole hall. And I'm really impressed about um, what you have, what you brought here. Although it's not in, although it's not in the in again any physical type of model, but just for, just for chart, charts and like um, what um, uh, photos you have, uh, they are really clear and that's really amazing, isn't it? Thank yeah. you. So as the like uh, uh, as the like a long time uh, expert in, like, uh, in the space tech industry, uh, what do you think? Wh how, what will happen in your industry uh, in next year? I think as the conflict around the world is growing and mm. we are seeing more and more of them, uh, the countries, government agencies, and also private companies are seeing more need for data, satellite data, high mm. resolution and very quick responses. So therefore, I think the demand for satellite overall would increase and therefore business opportunities would increase overall. I see. So yeah, in this, uh, in this era of war, wars and battles and conflicts, many, many countries um, have, a, have a necessity of the, uh, uh, having a vast database of geopolitical data inside. That's, why these kind, these kind of satellite is really important. And also along with the, the plus processing pla processor and the uh, AI platform. So uh, I, re I really appreciate um, your insights. Um, thank you. Uh, uh, lastly, 
uh, after Space Tech Expo, Europe at here, what are you going to do after uh, this show? Well, have a good rest, have a good holiday, and work hard on next year. Mm. So work hard, uh, work hard, play hard, maybe. Indeed, I see. So I really um, appreciate like uh, what what they what this uh, mind uh, this person has. Um, thank you, Mr. Duan Lee from Telepis, uh, for your interview. Uh, this was Davis Kim from Aving News. Thank, thank you. you. 감사합니다. 감사합니다.